Good evening. I'm Pastor Vance Mortensen coming to you with an evening prayer service on behalf of the Racket Lake Chapel in Racket Lake, New York. Thank you for joining our virtual community. Tonight we will begin the season of Advent. We have uh, special readings and a special liturgy, so let me tell you a little bit about that before we get started. First of all, the liturgy tonight comes from the Moravian Church, and if you would like to follow along with us and in this liturgy, uh, please take a look at their website. If you go to their website, www.moravian.org, you will see right at the top the prayers for the first week of Advent, and that's starting December the 3rd. Take a look at that. And also, we'll be looking at parts of our Sunday Blast, which you can find on the chapel website. And that is Racket Lake Chapel, one word, dot org. And take a look at that. Take a look at our last Sunday Blast, and you will see some of the things that we're going to talk about tonight, especially the piece of scripture. So let's begin. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. That's Mark 13, 26. Gracious Savior, this week we begin the journey of Advent. This is a season of expectation and anticipation, a time of preparation and confession. And so it is that we bring to the Lord a broken and contrite spirit which we know our God will honor. We take this time to prepare for the coming Savior, truly. Rejoice greatly, shout for joy. See, your King is coming to you. He is righteous and brings salvation. Thanks be to God. And our first reading tonight is from Psalm 80. Hear us, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who sit enthroned between the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Awaken your might and come and save us. Restore us, O God, and make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. O Lord God Almighty, how long will your anger smolder against the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made them drink tears up by the bowlful. You have made us a source of contention to our neighbors, and our enemies mock us. Restore us, O God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. Let your hand rest upon the man at your right hand, the Son of Man you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us, and we will call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord Almighty. Make your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. Unto you, O God, in whom all things are known, and from whom nothing is hidden, we draw close by lifting our prayer of confession. Let's pray this together. Gracious Lord Jesus, you come to us with the good news of salvation, but we often fail to notice. You come to us day by day, and yet we close the doors of our hearts when it seems convenient to do things our own way. We ignore your presence and leadership and have lived as if we have no relationship with you. We have failed to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. Forgive us, merciful Lord. May we now live so that the world will know that you have come. Amen. Comfort. Comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to them and proclaim that they have suffered long enough and that their penalty is paid and their sins are forgiven. We are forgiven 
We praise you, O Lord. May you lead us to live a new and nobler life today. Thanks be to God. For today's, for today's gospel reading and for the first week of Lent, here is a reading from Luke chapter 1, verses 11 through 17. The birth of John the Baptist is announced to Zechariah. Then there appeared to Zechariah an angel of the Lord, standing at the right hand of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified, and fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John, and you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must never drink wine or strong drink. Even before his birth, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, with the spirit and power of Elijah, he will go before him to turn the hearts of parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Many people celebrate Advent, as you may be doing, with candles. And there are four candles, usually tall or slender. And then there is a fifth candle in the middle. First week of Advent, we light the first candle, and that is the candle, a candle sometimes known as hope or the prophet's candle. The prophets, because they were the ones who foretold the birth of the Savior. We think about the story of Zechariah and Elizabeth and how their, their hopes had been dashed over the years at having a child of their own. And suddenly an angel appeared to Zechariah and announced that they would have a child. And not just that, but he would be a special person. He would be one who proclaims the coming of the Lord. And in this season of Advent, we also prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord on Christmas Day. We think about ourselves. We think about our relationship with God, and we hope, as the candle reminds us, that if we have sinned, and we all have, our sins are forgiven, and that our Savior is coming and will be with us. Let's continue in our service with a time of prayer. First, let's observe a couple of moments of silence. Let's offer up any prayers that we have, special prayers. I'd like to offer up God, Liz and Maggie, as they recover from their uh, medical experiences this past week. I pray for their caregivers and their doctors and their nurses and all the people that have helped them make it this far. I ask for prayers from everyone for peace in the Middle East and Ukraine. Please join me in the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins if we forgive those who have sinned against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom now and forever. Amen. Christ, the light of the world, empower us to shine as lights in this dark world of sin. Christ, give our congregations and their members a desire to serve you by seeking out those who need a relationship with you. O 
Oh, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus Christ, desire of every nation, Savior of all peoples, come and dwell within our hearts and lives. We praise you, for you are good, and your mercy endures forever. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, open our hearts to welcome you, and let the word become flesh in our hearts and in our lives. Amen. Thank you for joining our virtual community. May God be with you. Have a blessed evening and a blessed first week of Advent.